All right, Year 11s, um, welcome back to video learning. Uh, so, as discussed in class, because we've only got a few lessons left and we want to get through things quickly, I will be flipping the classroom. So that way you guys can watch this in your own time, you can watch it at home, and also it takes into account the two students who are still doing remote learning. So just a refresher on last lesson, we were looking at um, scatter plots and trying to describe them in terms of strength, direction, and shape. And during it, I started referring to these numbers, if I can zoom in, these R values. For example, a strong one was an R value between 0 0.75 and 1. And that's when the data follows pretty much a perfect line. And then if it's moderate, the points are a little more spread out. The R value is a little lower, lower again for weak, and then just about zero when there's no correlation. So we're going to look, focus a little more on the, this R value, which is um, the Pearson's correlation coefficient. And remember, this is a numerical way of describing the shape of the scatter plot, because the closer it is to one, the stronger or more linear it is. And if it's positive or negative, it also tells you, tells you the direction. Now, we are going to be learning how to do it on the CAS today. Okay, so let's have a look. Of course, this is question 7E in your textbooks. So we've approached this particular topic a little bit backwards because you've learned how to use this R value, this Pearson's correlation coefficient. We haven't learned how to work it out. And you can work it out by using this equation here. And um, boy, doesn't that look like a fun equation. So instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to use our CAS calculators to do it for us. As I have in the past, I'm going to use question one to help us out with that. And in question one, we've got a table where um, you've got the weight, I assume, of a person and their blood glucose levels in milligrams per 100 mils of eight adults. Um, we use a calculator to determine the value of Pearson's correlation coefficient and we write our answer to three decimal places. So let's get our calculators out. All right, so here's a calculator and I'm on the home screen. Okay, first thing I need to do is start a new document. So I'm going to press Control N for new and I'm going to want to add the lists that we have in that table. So we're going to want to add the weight and the glucose levels. So I'm going to call one weight. The other one I'm just going to call glucose for short. Not going to spell. All right, then I'm going to add the weight. So 82 .1, 78.1, 76.6, 82.1, 83.9, 73.2, 66.0, and 77.5. And I should have eight values because they told me it was eight adults. And I'll quickly enter glucose as well. Okay, so once you've entered your data, just make sure that you have got pairs of data, that everything's in a pair. And I've just scrolled right down. Um, as you can see, I don't have an extra piece of data hanging over at the end. Okay, now we're going to insert a calculation. So we're going to press Control i We're going to add a calculator. So that's the first option. Then we want to press menu and we're doing statistics so we're going to choose option stat, stats then stat calculations and then we want to do a linear regression okay and it's ax plus bx is the option we're choosing okay our x list is oh well what do you think is going to be the explanatory variable? Do you think someone's blood glucose level is more likely to affect their weight, or do you think someone who weighs more is more likely to have a higher blood glucose level? And I think we should set weight as explanatory variable and glucose as the response. I don't think we need to do anything else. No, have a frequency of one, save it to that cell, and there we go. We get this. Okay, what this is, is this is the form of the equation. A is 50.8131. 
that's the y-intercept. B, which is the gradient of the line, is 0 0.615, well, perhaps 616, if we round it off. R squared, which we're not concerned with just yet, that'll become more important when you get into year 12. What we want is R, just without the squared, and it's 0 0.5704 or 0 0.570, because we wanted it to three decimal places. Okay, so that's all that question one wanted you to find. Let's say hypothetically it's more like question four or question five, and you've got to find out a few more things. Like, um, I already talked about how to figure out the explanatory variable and response variable, but what if you had to construct a scatter plot? So let's go back to the calculator. Okay, so I'm back on the spreadsheet screen where I entered the data originally, and again, I'm going to press Control I and it's going to work. Control I. There we go. This time I'm going to add data and statistics, so number five on that list, and we can see our points there. Now we decided our x variable was going to be weight, and I'm going to press tab to switch to the other one, and we're going to make that glucose. And then there appears our scatter plot. So you can um, use that to help you draw your scatter plot, remembering that if you're not happy with the numbers that you're getting, if you hover this just so, you should be able to stretch or shrink your um, your axes. Okay, so you can change into something that's more useful for you and easier to draw. Okay, uh, another thing you might be asked to do is to describe the shape and um, direction of the graph and form. So, yeah, it's kind of linear. It's not great. Um, I'd say it's positive, but of course, if you look at the number that we got, which was 0 0.570, it tells you that, yes, it's positive, and it also falls into that um, uh, moderate strength window. So we would type something like the association between weight and blood glucose is moderate because it's between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. Positive because it's not a negative value and linear because when we do a Pearson's correlation coefficient we assume the data is linear. It's one of the two assumptions that we make. Okay, so that's today's notes. Uh, good luck and just ask me if you get stuck.